the number of times an atheistic argument has been proven wrong with a theistic argument is zero. That's a 100% track record. Science is commonly referred to as atheistic. It is only atheistic because in world history, there has been no evidence ever for the existence of a god. Never once at all anywhere. If I was wrong on that point even once, I would drop my job and become a believer. But it has never happened because it's a myth. It's a lie. And theism lies a lot. There's a lot of lying going on in theism. Atheism is not the art of lying, it's the art of learning. I don't know means I have more to learn. Simple stuff. Not brain surgery. Not hard. <laughs> Proving a scientific pro a hypothesis wrong or right is considered good because it means we're learning, and learning is the point. Real science has taught us everything we know. Theism has taught us nothing, but does take the credit anyways, as I mentioned before, with the long creation days and the Big Bang. In fact, the most important thing that science has taught us is how wrong theism is. Theism lives in ignorance, the god of the gaps. What we don't know, that's where God is. Used to be big, now it's real small. Using what we don't know is proof of a god. I don't know, that's proof of an immortal, invisible man in the sky. That's not proof. Theistic religions take credit for teaching us what science has already taught, like the Big Bang, like long creation days, or what society has already decided, that homosexuality is just fine, and you shouldn't stone gay people for being gay. It never admits being wrong, even when proven, like light coming after the earth. Rather, it insists on its own perfection, even as it changes, as we are seeing today. Science on the other hand, admits the truth. We don't know everything, so we learn. Science cannot lie because data cannot lie. And unlike what Frank said, hypotheses are not trusted. They're peer-reviewed and tested as a vetting process. Now compare that to religion. You get two preachers together that disagree, what are they going to do? They're not going to prove each other wrong. They're going to go off to their own church and preach what they think as objective reality. That's why there are more denominations of Christianity than there are sentences in the Bible. I'll say that again. There are more denominations of Christianity than there are sentences in the Bible. Scientific hypotheses are proven wrong often, but that is not support for our man in the sky. No atheistic argument has ever been proven wrong with a theistic argument. Again, never happened. The reverse, child's play. Anybody can do it. Proving a theistic argument wrong with science, I did it today twice, my first couple sentences. You don't even have to leave Genesis 1 to do it. So, while science does not guarantee the immediate satisfaction, we're going to die, all of us. We're all going to die without knowing how the universe began. We all want to know everything. That's too bad. It's not going to happen. We're not going to get the instant gratification with science that you get with religion. God did it. Oh, now I understand. But the conclusions are based on real data by real scientists and tested by peers. Science wins because science learns. And as a result of science learning, society learns. We learn. We evolve. While religion stays stagnant and closes its eyes and blocks its ears and calls itself perfect. And that's why atheistic methods beat theistic methods for explaining the universe. <laughs>